Hey Internet, Adopted Mike here, and in this video we're going to take a look at this HBA card from LSI. This is the LSI SAS 9211-8i, so it's a 6 gigabit a second 8 port SAS SATA host bus adapter with integrated RAID. And I'll point it out over here real quick that our integrated RAID is 0, 1, 1, E, and 10. But here's some of the specifications there. We have 8 internal ports and they're off of the two mini SAS 8087 we've got a by 8 PCI Express 2.0 interface and this card here is low profile ready on the back here we have some descriptions and stuff from LSI there's a model number right there the SAS 9211 8i again a couple other cards more information about LSI warranty information down here as well too but uh, anyway let's take a look usually there's not much going on um, with a HBA but take a look at it anyway I'm actually going to use this in a, a Windows Home Server build the biggest reason for it is the fact that you can get eight drives attached to one card where most motherboards um, don't have that kind of support there's some uh, toxic hazardous substances. Oh, that's interesting. So we got some uh, we got some lead in there. Hmm. I guess it's nice that they disclose it anyway. And then we have the HBA installation manual here showing how to hook it up, plug it into the system. Like I said before, it is a by eight slot, so you definitely have to keep that in mind Let's see a bracket oh that was a bracket replacement it should be pretty straightforward then we have a uh, utilities and documentation disk as probably well as some um, software license agreements there accessories under this panel which there are none so there are no included SAS cables in this particular uh, card or excuse me with this particular card we do get the low profile bracket adapter there and then we'll take a look at the card itself it's actually um, relatively small and light but it doesn't have a lot of those other features like a built-in fan and whatnot although there is a heat sink there we can see so probably in a system I would probably recommend having a fan nearby or something nearby just to move some air across those fins. And there we can see the uh, 8087 mini connectors there. We've got some, uh, oh there we go, yep. Some activity there for each of the drives. So that's pretty cool. And then we have um, some other connector there. I wonder if that is for uh, chaining more of the cards together. Perhaps, well, perhaps. I can't, uh, I don't know offhand, honestly. It doesn't appear that there is a HDD activity light that goes to the front panel, unless, um, well, that could be what we got here then, I bet you. Yep, external LED. So I bet you that's what's here um, for front panel um, HDD lighting or HED activity lighting. So yeah, pretty simple there, really easy to go through. So like I said, I'm going to be using this in a home server build because I think it would be great to be able to add eight drives and then uh, without you know having to find a motherboard that has eight SATA ports on it, which would probably have an, another integrated controller anyway, possibly. So I just skip that part here and we'll give this a shot. I think the reliability will be a lot better and hopefully the setup's a lot easier. But we will do that uh, in another video uh, for a build log for that server. So um, that about wraps it up. And thank you for watching.